This time, we're projecting to find out what sex life will be like after prostate cancer. Prostate cancer itself can present, like any other cancer, in different stages. For example, in early stages such as stage 1, obviously the treatment itself can be as aggressive as possible to get rid of the tumour as much as possible. As the tumour progresses into stage 3 and stage 4, then it's more difficult to treat for any form of cancer. So let's deal with prostate cancer and its impact on sex life. For example, if somebody uh, unfortunately being diagnosed with prostate cancer in stage 1, don't worry because their curative procedure such as robotic operation or radical prostatectomy. With this operation, we remove the whole prostate but sadly, sometimes it might injure the nerve and also blood supply to the penis and hence men after the surgery may encounter problem with erectile dysfunction. But fear not because there are technology that will allow surgeons to do nerve sparing operation and that can preserve the sexual function. However, after the surgery, many men can no longer ejaculate because the true function of the prostate is to produce semen. Let's talk about stage 3 and 4. We call it locally invasive prostate cancer. For these cancer, perhaps the treatment of choice may be something like radiotherapy. Of course, radiotherapy itself is not as good as radical prostatectomy, but it's equally good in many circumstances to cure the cancer. However, the radiation itself sometimes can actually reduce the blood flow to the penis and scar the nerves that supply the penis. And it also has the impact of erectile dysfunction. Sometimes we also have to give patients hormonal treatment which is called chemical castration that may impact on the libido. And lastly, if you're unfortunate enough to get prostate cancer at late stages, usually removal of the testicle itself or chemical castration is the treatment of choice to reduce the chance of the cancer flaring up. So on that note, it really highlights the importance of detecting prostate cancer early. In the next week, it's going to be 1st of August, we're going to start a new series of finding out what is happening if you contracted sexually transmitted infection. So we first group of sexually transmitted infection that we're going to do at is a virus called HIV and you're wondering how do people contract it, what is the window period whenever you go for a blood test and also whether certain form of sexual activity is safer than the others, then you know what to do. Stay tuned for the whole month of August and stay tuned for putting Dr. G on the spot.